I'm a little late to the St. Patty's Day party, but all clovers are edible raw or delicious and healthy. The time of clovers flourishing in early spring was celebrated with special dances by natives in California because it was eaten in great abundance by people such as the Cahuilla, Concow, Namlaki, Patwin, Pomo, Wailaki, Yokia, and Yuki. And it was eaten straight from the field, the foliage and the flowers, or it was gathered and eaten raw, or boiled, or dipped in salt water. And besides its great taste, it may have been especially valued as a green because of its higher protein content. This is in the pea family, the Fabaceae, which is unique among all flowering plants of being capable of self-fertilizing because they harbor bacterial symbionts and root nodules which affix atmospheric nitrogen. Nitrogen is a prime component of protein. But what is a clover? People often get them confused with other species. A true clover is in the genus Trifolium, which means three leaves, and true clovers have these three leaflets. They often have these deltate marks in the center that can be light or dark colored, but they don't always have marks. They have these flowering heads, which are very beautiful, and you can use them to ID the species. This right here is white clover or trifolium repens. Crimson and red clover are also in the area and there are 14 clover species in Texas. True clovers can easily be confused with this very common species, burr clover, medicago polymorpha, and alfalfa is medicago sativa. So next time you can skip the alfalfa sprouts and just forage out in your lawn. And you can see the burrs forming on this which become uh, troublesome in your socks in the summer when they mature and dry. You can also distinguish this by the central leaflet having a longer petiolule. That's that little stem in the middle. They also have fewer flowers that are yellow. But this one's equally edible and delicious. You can actually even eat these green burrs. And I've tried eating the mature dry burrs because I read that Cahuilla did that and uh, that didn't turn out very well. But the green ones can be munched up no problem. They're also healthy and full of protein and have been eaten by natives in California historically. This is Medicago minima or little burr clover. It looks just like burr clover except it's little. Its burrs are a little bit different too. They're less world. And then we have sweet clovers in the genus Melilotus. This is yellow sweet clover. This genus is a lot taller and it has taller inflorescences as well. Right next to it we have white sweet clover, Melilotus albus. And both of these are also edible, but they're not true clovers. And finally, people often call these wood sorrels in the genus Oxalis clover, but if they have the heart-shaped leaflets, they're actually a totally different family. Still edible, and it's fine if you want to call them clover. Uh, I used to be wrong a lot too.